<laughs> yeah. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The first frame, things in Weetabrick. Ding Junwei gets this first round match underway. And as Rob Walker said when he was introduced, Ken, he certainly inspired a generation of Chinese players. Yes, absolutely. He's been the, the flag bearer for mainland China for sure. And uh, I think we've had nine Chinese players uh, represented here at the Crucible over the years. Here's another one, and a very, very good player as well, Zhao Gudong. They practice at the same academy down at Sheffield United's training centre. Snooker Academy down there. And, uh, so they know each other's game inside out. And it's always a tough, I mean, even as an Irishman, when I used to play Irish players, John, like it was always that little bit more intensity, a bit more sort of, I don't know, pressure, you know. And uh, I don't know whether Ding will feel it against his uh, fellow countrymen or not today. It remains to be seen. Yeah, I suppose that practicing or being in the same practice facility, you get used to him. So he probably doesn't have the fear of Ding Junwei as lots of players would have. Yeah, I think that's a very good point. I think the the familiarity aspect. Ooh, has he left this red? Well, the red certainly goes, is whether he can get past the other red to get to it. Oh, clearly. <laughs> yep, and didn't have what? to do much with the cue ball to get position on the blue. So, first chance now to Gudong. Yeah, and of course, Zhao Gudong came through the qualifying school down at the English Six. Institute, won three matches and won them very comprehensively, John. I was just having a look. Chris Totney won, beat 10 3, Meiji Wen 10 4. And his final match, he beat Adam Duffy 10 frames to 1. So obviously in very, very good form. Yeah, you always think of the qualifier as a double-edged sword, but having won three matches and there's nothing 12. better for your confidence than getting a string of wins under your belt. I'm sure he'll leave a nice angle on yellow or green here. Well, he's gone for the blue. He was shaping up initially to 13. possibly take the green, but now straight into the pink. He's just got to be careful there are no plants in the middle of that pack. He's okay. It looked for a moment that he was going to be on nothing, but... 18. There was a red came across the table and then that cue ball just flicked it and it flicked another one and it's on. And that's all you can hope for. And look at the reds, how they spread. What a chance. Nineteen. Well that was a nice little shot. I know it didn't look much, but we judged the pace of it and a few players, you know, playing the first frame and any of their matches have struggled with the pace of these table. These top side of the blue, perfect to get back down for these reds. And just watch this. And that's a simple little shot. But you, you can just put a little bit too much side and, and end up between the bulk and the colours and the blue. 
We'll try and get the pink maybe on its spot here. Definitely 24. wants the black on its spot at some stage, but he's got a good angle from this red to try and nestle behind the pink. Yeah, just jabbed at that a little. Didn't come back as far as he would like. Just didn't really get the cue through enough to get the backspin he wanted. He's still got this red to the the left corner, but having to play an, an alternative because he feels that this will give him a ch better chance of position. 32. He doesn't really want to be playing for the black at the moment. In fact, it wouldn't bother him at all if he could win the frame without playing the black. The pink's available in at least two pockets. 15. Well, well, does this red immediately be below the pink go to the left middle? 37. If it doesn't, He's on nothing. Oh, it does. Now, can he get to it? That's the next question. Hmm. Don't know what he was sizing up before. This is the red that should be giving due care and attention. And then it goes. So it nearly went badly wrong, but now back on course to win the frame at this visit. Yeah, delicate little shot, wasn't it? And as you said, Johnny, he has the pink. Into 44. At least three pockets now, and you just concentrate on reds and pinks here. Again, that 45. was a little jabby. And there's one thing about a lot of the Chinese players, they wear some fancy shoes, John. What do you think it is? 51. Very nice. <laughs> 52. He's just not got good control, this cue ball, at the moment. I think there's still a little bit of tension in the arm. they more like a slipper, aren't they, than a normal shoe, hardly any heel. <coughs> a house shoe. Yeah. Well, that was a good shot. Played it positively. So, 58 points to the lead. Just looking for red cover red now. He doesn't really want to play for the black, as we said before, but I'm not certain he's guaranteed good position on the pink here, off this red. So, he may have to play for the black. Yeah, as long as he doesn't land straight on the black. I think there's, there's plenty of room off the cushion. Fifty-nine. Yeah, purposely ended up low on the black, so he's just got to stun the black in and up for the red, just above the black spot to the left. Is this black and one more red required? 
No problem. I mean, you couldn't hope for a better start than this. And this red took us 67 66. ahead with just 59 remaining. All came about by 67. a containing safety from King John Way. But the red just trickled over the middle. Yeah, it was a loose one, really. It should have been covered, even if the red was going towards that middle. It was quite a careless shot from Ding Zhongwei, and it's cost them this first frame. 73. <laughs> 74. Eighty one, eighty two. Oh, well, what a pity. Jabby Dong, start the match off for the century. But 82 will do. And Zhao Gudong leads the number three seed, Ding Junhui, by one frame to nil. Well, you couldn't wish for a better start than that. And, of course, Ding Junhui always seemed to struggle at this venue, but the last couple of seasons he's... Uh, well, he's been involved in two really great, mate. I thought his semi-final match against Mark Selby last year was one of the, the great crucible matches. Unfortunately, it's been Mark Selby the last couple of seasons that's been his nemesis. Yeah, he played as well as anybody could play in the World Championship and still end up on the losing side. He played magnificent in the semi-final and even in the final last year as well, John. Incredible. Thank you. The second frame. Thiago Dong to back. That's the shot that thing would normally be. Very strong at putting this red down around the back of the black. <laughs> Didn't expect it to go in there. <laughs> Almost. Quite a way, long way away from that. Yeah, and you just get the feeling. I know it always looks that way when a ball doesn't go in a pocket, but he seemed to hit that a lot harder than he needed. We'll probably put a bit of an unintentional side on, which pushed the cue ball into the red. That's why is it too full. So he's not what? having to work too hard for his chances, isn't it, Zhao? Got the first chance in the opening frame. First good chance in this. Play on brown or black here. Six. Seven. Now this is the one time you'd love to be straight on the black. If he is, he can pot the black and screw back. Well, he's perfect. Screw back for the red. Just to the left of the black. And of course, this is important red to get out of the way because it now makes the black available into both corner 40. pockets. Decent chance. Fifteen.
22. Twenty-three. Yeah, played that reasonably well. He's loosened the red somewhat. Not as much as he would have liked, but he's got a good position on the black. That was the important thing. Thirty. Now I need a little cannon. And uh, just one good cannon here will release two or three reds. Available. That's okay. That's good. Okay, he's hampered, but he doesn't have to do anything with the cue ball. Just drop this red in, automatically be on the black. Well, maybe get a bit more of a stretch than I thought. Oh. 39. It certainly wiped its feet, that red. Have a look at this. Wiped its feet and not three times. <laughs> Dear me. 40. Well, that previous shot with the black knocked another couple of reds 46. into play. The two on the left hand side of the packer, both available. so. 47. Well, as he ended up too straight, maybe the, the red on the right hand side to the right of the pink in the open may pot into the left centre. 54. And when he pots this red, the red at the bottom of the pack will pot as well. So he doesn't need any more cannons here to win the frame from this visit. And this is a very, very impressive start. And as I say that... <laughs> yeah, but down 54. It's the commentator's course, John. I couldn't see him missing that one. No, but it was always on that far jaw. Will we live to regret that? There's one thing I've noticed, John, over the first couple of days, that the... the those shots into the middle pocket, they're not falling towards the near jaw like they would have done in previous years. So, he ran out of applause. Very popular player is Ding Junwei. And I think he really uh, caught the imagination of the, uh, the public in last year's semi-final when he uh, conducted himself absolutely superbly. In one, as I say, one of the great matches. One of the, certainly one of the best semi finals ever. I'm sure he didn't expect this chance. Six. Well, he was just eyeing up a possible red and maybe developing the pink, but I don't think. That would be ideal just now. Seven. Mm. Didn't want to be straight on this black, so. Maybe only can take the red that's closest to the left center pocket. Slightly awry. 14. Yeah, this looks simple, but it's tricky, this. Got to be accurate. If you miss it, you leave it. 50. Nicely played, but of course, because he wasn't perfect on the red. 
That cue ball is now starting to travel distances that you wouldn't prefer, but there is a red that's available into the right corner, so you can strew straight down. And now imperative in potting this red, he gets a good angle on the black, because this is the last of the 70. open reds. And still, he's 37 points behind. He's just having a quick look to see if he can actually get on the pink here into the right centre. Maybe a better option, but he doesn't want to be straight on the pink. He has to leave an angle. So a nice angle on pink or black here. Eighteen. Now, I think he has the angle just about, and he can pot the pink and just dislodge a red here and bring them may bring the three of these reds into play here. Hmm. Could have worked out better. Twenty four. Twenty-five. Yeah, nicely controlled and held nicely for the blue. Again, may lack to go into either brown or pink here, just to try and doesn't have to hit it with too much pace. He's got to judge this nicely. Yeah, I think in an ideal world, you'd like to sort of. Hit the brown quarter ball and then kiss the, the pink quarter <laughs> ball, wouldn't you? Well, it looks as though he's going to play for one of the loose reds. No cannon. Oh. Well, he's overhit that somewhat. 30. I mean, you'd have a tendency to think there. He had a bit of a bounce, but as soon as he hit the blue, he, his body language told me he felt he did it too hard. Mm. And in the end, that poor positional shot... Things when we... 30. ...has caused him to miss, and he's not got away with it. And Zhao Gudong comes to the table, still with a 24-point lead, and he's got a red to the middle. Yeah, I think he missed the trick there, Dean. He could have gone into. It was a big target. Could have gone, taken a chance, gone into the pack. <laughs> Bit of noise on the other table. Just came at the wrong time there for Zhao Gudong. Something you have to contend with here, though. Yes, it's all about. This is the ultimate test. Mm -hmm. That's worked out pretty good, that. The red just to the right of the brown, which is, you think, the one that could give him a chance of getting back to the ball cushion. But in playing it, he may just flick the brown as well which could take the pace out of the cue ball. And in an effort not to kiss the brown, hit the red much too thin. Another chance for Ding. Slip there. He's, look, he's on this blue into the right center. 
I have to play a delicate little cannon on the black or the brown here. Nice shot. Very well played. Six. Yeah, the only slight problem I can see here for Ding is that the way that brown has gone near the black spot, he can't really play for the black at the moment. He'd tie the black and the brown up. So that's why he's playing for Seven. the brown. Get that back up the other end of the table. It's only a nuisance down here. Great chance to steal the frame. He's going to need red. 11. Mm -hmm. All the colours up to the pink. 12. Mm -hmm. There's the angle on the black. He's down quick enough to it, so it must be good. That's a wonderful shot. Excellent positional shot from black to yellow. 19. <laughs> 21. Yeah, the pink is the ball, isn't it, John? That's yeah, as you say, Ken, he needs up to and including the pink, but if he get, I always think now the key shot well, he's played 24. a bad shot off the green. Never mind. I was going to say the key shot is going to be from brown to blue. If he gets the perfect angle on the blue, he can drop in behind the pink. I'm going to give this brown now due care and attention. Mm, he's missed it. Well, I know it's early on in this match, but what 24. a frame this could be. Xiao Gu Dong has had two opportunities. And Ding Zhongwei has let him off the hook there. Oh, he got down to play that brown very, very quickly indeed. Four. What a chance missed. Yep, and Xiao Gu Dong still needs blue and pink. Certainly would have been a great steal. Nine. I think Zhang Wei, and there'll be no heroics with this pink. He'll just drop it in, dead weight. Give it a chance to get into the pocket. Doesn't have to hit this with any pace at all, but what a frame and what a let off. Absolutely, and unlike a lot of players today, Xiao Gu Dong doesn't have the advantage of being able to play. It left handed, so with the rest, but as you say, just dead weight, let gravity take over. In it goes, okay. and he'll be a mighty relieved young man. I'm sure he decided to see a few moments ago thinking he'd lost that frame. But Ding Zhongwei played a poor positional shot from green to brown, and it stopped him in his tracks, and he trails 2 0. Well, John, I mean, I'm as flabbergasted as you. I just can't believe Ding. He's doing the hard work, and he's just the great. This green, I mean, he's got so much air, margin for for error here, and he's underscrewed it. But then, how quick he got up to play the brown as well. He should have given it a little bit more due care and attention, as you rightly said. Yeah, and the thing is that uh, sometimes you do it, you get a bit exasperated with yourself. But you've got to treat every shot on its merits, and, and that brown was tricky, particularly when you're close to him. It's hard to pick out the right angle. I mean, you never know from his facial expression how he's feeling, but uh, he'll be very disappointed. And, well, from what we've seen so far, Zhao Gun Gu Dong is, uh, looks to be queuing well. <laughs> Can't take him for granted. No, absolutely not. So it's early Thank doors. You third frame. Ding Jun Wei. Only in times where Ding Jun Wei and his fans.
Well, believe it or not, he played a pot there. Long, long way out. Perfect on the colour. And that cue ball being tight to the cushion, or very close to the cushion. It's a difficult pot here if he's playing the green. Oh, we played it well. Playing across the table like that, at that speed. Four. Very well done. Five. Yeah, they're tricky shots, these, but he fully committed to it. And after losing the first two frames, fair play to him. <coughs> That's not hard enough on that end of break. It was poor. And it wasn't Twelve. the black. It was a poor positional shot on the previous red. Put the pre he potted the previous red, stunned true, but left completely the wrong angle on that black, and that's very, very careless. Thank you. Things in we? 12th. So he hasn't settled down just yet. can't go down the left hand side of the table as we look and it's going to be very difficult to find a path back to the ball Ken so he's looking to come off the side cushion and nestle into the cluster or off two cushions two cushions it is looks a good line shouldn't do any damage there Deng Jun will be hoping that Brendan Moore says touching, touching ball and he does so that gives him an easy path back to the ball end, but he's got to be a little bit careful. That's why he's gone up to the ball end because there's a couple of reds on the right hand side of the table. He doesn't want to leave a pot at one of those. Needs to hurry. Well, he's covered. The one furthest away from the cushion of those two reds, but the one closest to the cushion he can get through to. And if there's no safety and no return to Bork, he may be tempted to take it on. It's a tough one. But if you can't play a good safety, well, he's decided it's too risky. So this time, just coming off one cushion to nestle into them. Does he hit it hard enough? Lovely touch, and not touching ball this time.
opportunity for Dredong to get the cue ball to the ball end, but he's got to be wary he doesn't leave a shot for Ding on one of those two reds. Well, he was always going to leave a shot, but he felt if he got a good cue ball, this would make it a very difficult pot. And it's not one you can just drop in and automatically finish on the black, so he's played it pretty well. And as we always say, no matter who you are, I know Ding Jun Wei is ranked three in the world. Until you get your first frame on the board, you never really settle. Half-hearted attempt at the pot. In fact, I'm not even certain he played the pot there. But he needs a frame, and quick. Zhao Gudong is dictating this safety battle at the moment. Got to be careful of a double kiss here. As he was coming down there, Zhao, he looked at this red that's just above the black. I think it may be available to the middle, but he may feel it's too risky. That I mean, if he could play it and the only red he could leave was the one he was playing, it might be worth a go, but he thinks he can find the top cushion and use the green as the blocker here. And that puts things your way in a spot of bother. He's always had the the best of it. Let's have a look at Ding's view. There you see. He snooker on the main pack. You can see that red just to the right of the pink. But that one's fraught with danger. Very difficult to get back the ball from there. But it may be his only option. If he comes down the right-hand side of the table and tries to go off two cushions and nestle into the pack of reds, it's very dangerous as well because there's plenty of blue sleds, reds around, so. and particularly that one above the black. Yeah, he's going to have to be very precise. I mean, it's one of those, I think, that as he, we look at over a minute now, shot time, Possible two cushion and try and hit that red just to the right of the, the blue. If you catch it half ball, then the cue ball could run to the ball cushion, but he's looking at that gap between green and blue, and it doesn't look too inviting to me. <laughs> Certainly don't see a path back to Bork. Well, this is a possible shot, but as I said, it's fraught with danger and he must nestle on those reds and it's almost like a touching ball. But even then, it's a little bit short. There's a couple of reds at the bottom of that pack of five. and If he overhits it, a couple of reds to the right centre. So that's why it's such a difficult shot. Like he's not, he hasn't even contemplated playing this shot I put up. Yeah, well over two minutes thinking time. <laughs> it always reminds me, of course, of Ted Lowe's, the late, great Ted Lowe, when he said, there is a time limit on how long you've got to play a shot, but nobody knows what it is. <laughs> Which about sums it up here. You'll do well to get this safe. He's going to try and nestle on the red just above the black. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, he flipped <laughs> it. He'll have to settle for that. He was in deep, deep trouble. It's not entirely safe. 
But boy, cue ball could have finished up in a lot worse places. Just rubbed past it. Is yeah. it a bit thicker? He leaves it. Yeah, well worked out. Lovely touch. <laughs> cue donk shaking his head there. He can't believe it. He thought he was at least going to get some sort of chance. That was an excellent escape. And it's very difficult to get it back to bog from here, John. So he may only be able to play a contained and safety shot. If he does that, thing could put him back in trouble. So it's a double whammy. Well, that can't be a good shot, surely. Touching ball. Does Fred not go to the left corner? Well, if it did, does, and it looked to me like it did, what a careless shot that is. Well, it must go because of things' reaction. Just about, One. and what an opportunity Ding has given Kudong here. Eight. Well, I don't know what he was playing, Ding and Weaves, rolling into the reds, but I just think he hit the wrong red. I think you're absolutely right. Nine. He wanted to run past that red and he just flicked it. And there you go. Oh my dear. My goodness. And the way he's been playing when he's got in amongst the balls, I know in the last frame he missed that what was comparatively 60. easy ball into the middle. He's looked very good in these situations yeah. and not overawed by the occasion, which is the most important thing. Yeah, I totally agree. He's got good cue ball control. He doesn't you know, let the cue ball get away from him too much. Oh, yeah, you won't believe how easy he's got in here. May go up for the reds in the middle of the table and up for the blue. I'd love to get rid of that red just to the right of the blue, but the one just below it is probably his choice here. I'll put this into the right centre. Maybe on the one 24. to stay on the black, but I think the one into the right centre and try and put a couple of reds and blues all the time building a nice little lead and that's worked out perfectly 25. yeah there's a lot of times that people ask us how many shots in advance do you look i think when you get in this situation all you can try and do is get on the, the next ball and leave yourself an angle so you can maneuver the cue ball and as you say ken just Fit. build up the points and what now probably another five reds needed to clinch this frame 31. with colours. And a 3 0 lead.
35. 36. Red on the right hand side here in the open will probably be his next shot. Playing it into the left center. He's on it nicely. 41. 42. Again, he doesn't have to play a cannon here. He's got a, a red below the pink and to the right. That's on into the right center. Wow. Well, he was concentrating so much on his position. He's forgot about the pot. Just tried to hold it for that red into the right centre, and that's a let off. Yeah, tried to pinch a bit, didn't he? Tried to pinch too much. 30 points behind Ding Junhui as he comes to the table. One. He had a chance in the last frame to, to steal. Didn't do it. He doesn't really want to let this opportunity slip. Eight. Nine. Well, that didn't go into the middle of that pocket. It's in. I really feel Ding must win this frame from this position just to settle down in this match. 16. You did see another big favourite, Ronnie O'Sullivan, lose the first four frames in his opening match to Stephen McGuire, 17. but eventually come back. But can't give too many players a good lead, even in a best of nine. Dean. Although the last frame 23. would have hurt Ding, this was hurt his opponent even more, I feel. 24. Points now all square. Thirty. Thirty one. Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. Nicely on the green. Oh. He got his life flying and he looks like he's duly taken it. What a let off 43. from his opponent, Zhao Gudong. He'll be reeling in his chair. Should have been going into a three frames to nil lead. And he's got his opponent now off the mark, 46. you would feel. Yeah, it's just this ground needed. And to be fair, Kenny, considering he's lost the two first two frames, he's taken these really well, hasn't he? 50. Yeah, he certainly has, and this will settle him down, John. You, you spoke about winning your first frame, but just the way he lost that second frame and 55. the mistake he made at the beginning of this frame. 
This is good response from the world number three. 61. He got a bit of help from his opponent, Rangel Gudam, but when the Thanks chance came, he duly took it. Ding is off the mark. It's still Gel Gudong who leads by two frames to one. Well, John, we couldn't see this coming the way Gudong had played in the first few frames. And as you said, he's just trying to pinch a bit of the black here. Yeah, just trying to hold for that red that was two from the right of the pink into the middle. And you feel as if he'd have potted that black. He would have won the frame at that visit, but he didn't. And I was very impressed with the way Ding Junwei came to the table and, uh, and cleared up. It wasn't easy, but he made it look easy. So it tells us he's in good stroke, but uh, he can't afford any careless shots, which he did in that frame, didn't he? When he played a little roll up and left his opponent the sitter. There's a young man from Guernsey, Luke. I wonder if he'll be back here in 10 years' time. <laughs> Strutting his stuff with a waistcoat Thank and bow tie. Thank you, Frank, to break. I say 10 years, he was only five. <laughs> <laughs> but 15, listen, they're, they're getting younger all the time, aren't they? Certainly, yeah. Well, he's a tester, and he's taking it on. Well, I missed it by quite some way, but... As with all them kind of shots, if you're going to miss them, air on the side of it and they're too thin. And the cue ball doesn't leave him on. Touching ball, please. Maybe touching both touching of them. One, <laughs> no, just one. No reason I say that. It just gets the frame back to normality. Don't want to see all this tipping and tapping. Two reds at the bottom of that pack, and I'm just looking, John, I'm not quite sure whether they're in a line to this left hand corner pocket. Gudon hasn't had a look at them. And it won't make any difference now. Catching the the green has left Xiao with his hand on the table, so it should be a, a fairly comfortable run back to the balk end. Needs to miss the brown though for it to be good. He didn't. It's a lovely line on the cue ball. And that's new green. Good dong and all reds tapping the table in acknowledgement. He's going to go for the two cushion escape. Oh, 
good shot. <laughs> Foul. He's unlucky, but he'll. Things you we for. Won't be too despondent about that going in there. It was a good connection on the the red, and it could have been a lot worse. You never said where's the cute ball going there. No, I will do if we show you a replay of it. <laughs> Just flick the green. If it had just run past the green, that would have been a very telling safety come snooker. But it happens, it's not. Can I hit this just right, though? You don't want to hit it too thick or too thin. A little bit too thick. That's why he's just about going to reach the bolt line rather than the bolt cushion. Half a chance. Considering he played the pot there and it is too thin, he's done well to find the ball cushion as, as good as he has. Hit two reds there. anything you think the attempt ding can't see a ready could pot and guarantee being on a colour and it'd be a tough pot to go for so no value The problem is at the moment with these safety shots, because the brown and green are off the spots, there's no real hiding place. So it's very hard to play Italian safety. There is a pot on here to the right corner. It doesn't look as though he's going to take, well, he's, had it, he's having a look at it now, because he doesn't have to do much with the cue ball. If he knocks it in, he's bound to be on the pink. Playing at that pace, oh boy, has he had a result here, unless his red comes over the middle. Well, if he's got away with that, he's very, very fortunate. Surely he's left a pot on. Just trying to make it into a shot for nothing, you put so much pace into it, and you just don't find the middle of the cue ball. Makes you look a bit foolish. Thing is having a good look at this red. It's very, very tight. Or is he just about on it? If he's not, he's how oh, unlucky not to be on it. So many reds in the open, and just look where the cue ball's finished. The black is on into the same pocket. It looks like so. He doesn't have too much work to do with the. The red, if it is on, is this a tree ball plant? 
above the black. He's had a look at that as well. Yeah, those three reds above the black are they a plant into this left hand corner pocket. Well, he's trying to convince himself that he can get past the pink. Well, that's a possibility, that three ball plant. Because the third red is aiming for the left hand jaw. How much is he going to turn it over, though? That's the thing. The only problem with that. Three ball plant, John. If it doesn't go in, he's more or less gifting his opponent yep. another great chance to win a frame with so many open reds. He's trying to convince himself <laughs> that he can get through to this red. And he's going to just nestle up to this one. So Zhao Gudong, very fortunate there. So any bit of uh, luck that Ding Jun Wei has in this frame, he deserves after not having a potting opportunity there. They had a they had a word for that you use sometimes for a bit of luck. It's called a result. <laughs> what a result! <laughs> To replay. Where's the cue ball going? <laughs> oh, this is a good shot. Just needed another couple of rolls, and he's still in a bit of bother. But another couple of rolls, he wouldn't have had anything to go at. Oh, well, it looked for one minute when the pink kissed the white. He was going to knock it in and out of bought, but then the pink kissed it again. Well, Dennis calls him a dreaded double kiss, the DDK. I think that was a, a good double kiss. And there's not many of them. Frame gone very awkward now. Oh, it seems to be the way if no one can get in early doors. Red going towards the corner. Needs to cover it. Is there a gap? There's always a gap. Negotiate without hitting any red back up into the ball area. Well, what's he playing here? Oh, I can't believe that. I'm sure there was a gap there, John. You showed it. Well, me too. I can't believe it. I cannot believe he didn't play the pot. I 
And he's lucky not to leave the red over the corner. Don't see really how he's going to get this safe. I know he's thinking of coming off the side cushion, nestle on the red that's tight on the cushion, but if he doesn't get it tight, then it's quite an easy task for Ding Jun Wei to hit one red onto the red that's over the corner. Well, that's the view, the player's view. Now, what's he got in mind here? Oh. Yeah, if it had been right in the jaws of the pocket... Keep the noise down, please, worked. thank you. Brendan Moore, our referee, just trying to keep everybody in order. They've come to the... Mid-section interval on the other side of the wall, and people do tend to forget there's another game going on. There you see it. That's the table fitter there who's going to brush down the finger marks. Well, if there isn't a return back to the ball end, it's quite simple just to come off the side cushion and nestle on this red near the left corner. Wouldn't leave anything. Yeah, he's just having a look to see if he can hit the red that's just <coughs> left of the pink spot. the one and looks like he's got enough of it to get back to ball care. Hmm, I just get the feeling the way the cue ball reacted there. Can he play that with a bit of right hand side? It's just checked the cue ball up so much. But once again it looks as though he's been a little bit fortunate and not left anything easy. Well, Ding Jun Wei has put his hand up there and apologised, so uh, he's got away with this reckless attempt. Is that being too harsh? Very. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, after the result that Zhao Gudong had earlier on in this frame, I don't begrudge Ding a bit of good fortune there.
could have a go at this red down the rail. Playing it in such a way to you can hit it with a bit of pace. If, if it doesn't go in, I can certainly run safe and cue ball back towards the ball cushion. It's pretty good. Well, considering the referee went to all the trouble to put the, the reds in the triangle and all the colours on the spots, they've made a, made a right mess of this table, haven't they? Yeah, Brendan Moore from Sheffield, of course, who's going to be officiating at the final this year. Great honour for him. the idea to screw the cue ball back to the ball can but the red has come down with it and he may be able to drop this red into the left middle and finish on brown or pink we've gone over the 20 minute mark now without a ball being potted Good shot, and can he get past the yellow? He'd look to have the pink back on his spot at this end of the table. He obviously can. Can be quiet with the crisp packets, please? The dreaded crisp packet. The dreaded. Seven. So pink nicely on its own spot now. I'm sure he can pot this red and hold for the pink into the left center pocket. Well, he's screwing back, so he's going to be taking the pink in the same pocket the red is going. Eight. Slightly on the hit, but he's still okay. Yes, and just looking at those two reds that are adjacent to the right centre pocket, certainly the right-hand one, the one closest to the pocket, 14. is available. And the reason that that is important is straight on this red, he can knock it in, play for the pink, into the right middle. I think it goes. And then, of course, removing this red will clear the pink for this left corner. I think the pink goes to the right middle. I'd be amazed if it didn't. Fifty. Well, it obviously sails in. Well, I say sails in, there's not a lot of room. Oh, but good solid pot. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Just having a look at the availability of that red, it, it looks to me as though you can get on it. His other reds, he's got a nice angle on the pink that he can play for. But it wouldn't be a bad one to get this one to the right corner. And the reason I say that is because that little cluster of three, the top one, will then become available into the right corner as well. So slowly but surely... 28. 
He's clearing paths for a few reds. Oh, he's hit that badly. 29. He's not hit that well at all. There we go. Well, we'll soon find out whether that the red that you mentioned, John, closest to the right centre, will pot. Well, obviously it does. Told you it did. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, potting this one and release the other one into the middle as well. 35. Yes, slowly but surely. It's looking like a very good chance to go into the mid-session interval with a 3-1 lead. Thirty-six. Yes, and particularly as you say, with that great stroke of fortune in the beginning of this frame. A lot of people thought Ding may have a most of his own way in this match, but Kudong at the 42. moment has proven otherwise. Yeah, I've seen Zhao play a few times and uh, got a good cue action. Might struggle sometimes, as most players do on these super fine cloths with the cue ball control, not being as precise as it could be. But he certainly knows his way around the snooker table. He's played some decent safety already in this match. So why he felt the necessity to risk having that cue ball travel such a distance to try and get on the pink. Looks as though he could comfortably have played for one of the ball colours. Both pink and black are tough here. Black looks a little bit easier. I know it's with the rest, but... It's just off straight, and all he has to do is either roll it in or stun it in for that red that you mentioned, John, that's just on the black spot. No, long way away. Thank you. That was a Shall twitchy one. 43. Yeah, it wasn't this black. It was a positional shot off the red that created the problem. Nicely for the pink. Now, make, can he stun in between the two reds here? He'll have a possibility of the red into the right center or the red beside the black into the corner. Well, he's gone down for the red on the black spot. Set. Puts this, it will release the two below it. Eight. I mean, like Gudong before when he played for a pink in, the, in his last visit, he just got into the cue ball too much there. I'm not expecting him to miss this pink, but he should have been better on it. His standards. That's a 40. very poor shot. And there's the shot before. Should have been on the pink, much nicer. Thank you. 
no attempt at the pot there. So things in we 14. Just the 14 points from that good opportunity. Let's have a look at this shot again. And he's, all he has to do is just stun up for the pink and get a nice angle for back for the two reds around the black spot. But well, just look at the angle he's left himself. Can you keep the noise down on this side, please? Needs Thank you. He's a bit you. of luck here with the cue ball. And he's, well, he must have got it again. That's very fortunate. Is he on the red? Well, he may just be on it. I thought he blocked it. One. Pot. Now oh, another chance. Certainly hasn't bounced enough that he wanted. This is not the red he played for. Seven. He played for the one closest to the right corner. Eight. He played that well, though. Eleven points behind. It's not going to be an easy run to the winning line in this frame. Where the balls are. Fifty. And he'd like to have come away from the cushion a bit more than that. This pink is very missable now. Played it well, played it very well. 21. And not the greatest kiss, because he's playing this red into a blind pocket. See the cue ball, you see the object ball, but he can't see the pocket. So has to trust the line, and he just got it wrong. Asian Wee, 21. And that's what can happen. So Zhao Gudong comes to the table, still with a four-point advantage. Oh, he's contemplating having a go at this red, but oh, this is tough. Yeah, very tough indeed. I don't think he should have been playing it. And the wrong choice of shot there for me. What? Just a little bit of inexperience here. Very tough shot. I'm particularly playing it with a lot of right hand side. Scoreboard. Three points in front now. I mean, the red long top cushion is going to be a, a tough one. Even Eight. more so now with the angle he's got on the pink. I don't see how he can get on it. Maybe just before the middle, around the back of the yellow, and back down for this red. It's going to be take some shot here. There you go. Back around the yellow. Now, how's the pace? How's the pace? Great effort, but it still doesn't make this red any easier. Ten points to lead. Oh, 
terrific pass. <laughs> and he can win this frame now without the blue. He can get to snookers required without potting the blue. Oh, that was a fantastic shot, that red. And also the positional shot was first class. To even get the cue ball to there, it was very, very difficult, as you said, John. But to put the red like that and get up for the pink. Class. It doesn't have to do much work 20. with this cue ball. 19 points ahead. Green will be 22 ahead with 22 left. So it's going to need green and brown. And just like in the second frame. Things you and we. 23. He doesn't like that pocket, you're saying? No. You don't like that pocket at all. It's amazing, isn't it, John? He pots a red that is much more difficult than the green. Yeah. And if the green goes in, of course, it was more or less frame ball. Yeah, this is the one he knocked in. A lot more difficult than the green. No problem. Frame ball green. Misses. Well, that was a bit fortunate. He didn't play it like that. Thank you. Got the du unintentional double kiss. That was another good GDK, as you said. Yeah, the GDK. <laughs> a good double kiss. If he doesn't hit this, playing at a pace, he'll leave a free ball or hit the pink. He'll leave the free ball. Foul. I'm going to miss. Danger and we four. Free ball. 23 points of difference. 25 points remaining. Just coming off the brown to nestle in behind the blue. what you call rubbing salt into the wound. And if he doesn't hit it this time, Xiao Gu Dong will need a snooker. This is a possibility. Not a big target to hit, though. I'm through the gap again. Wow. Foul. Things you and we for. And he's going to be snookered again, I'd say. Well, will he p take the green on? He may take the green on because he's 27 ahead. Ooh. Well, yeah, I don't blame him taking it on, but one snooker needed. We've seen it done before. If you can get tight up behind this pink, it'll be a lot more difficult snooker. Well, he's trying to get in behind the black. Whatever, it didn't work. And now a chance for Ding Jun Wei to roll this green in, and if he does, they'll go to the interval all square. And that's what it will be. Three. So Xiao Gu Dong won the first two frames, and has to be said, he's had chance in the last two frames, Seven. but uh, unable to stamp his authority on them. And Ding Jun Wei now right back in the match. Oh! Well! Hey! Even he enjoyed that! Wonderful shot on the blue. 18. Look at this. Amazing. <laughs> Not too bothered about the blue. He'll be happy though, having been 2 0 down. He's all square going to the mid session interval. It's two apiece.
five things you need to break. So mid-session into over, another five frames to play in the session. And not the best break-off shot from Ding Junwei there. Left the, this obligatory three-quarter ball pot. Not much to do with the cue ball to finish on the black. Disappointed with that. Yeah, it's quite a long way away from it, really, wasn't he? And what's worse, he's left this red on. Should be able to hold for the black here. One. Just a touch aside, just to slow the pace of the cue ball down. The red below the pink pots into this Eight. bottom right hand corner pocket. Delicate little cannon on the red that's closest to the pink, just to the right. You can just push that out away, and it'll still be on one of those two reds just below it. He's very good at these little shots, delicate little cannons, but very precise. <laughs> well, I built him up there, and what does he do? Always the same, Johnny. Eh? Fifty. Yeah, but I agree with you, he's usually very good at that type of shot. But uh, that one went wrong. Ding Zhen Wei, 50. That's such a good start to this match, did Zhao Gu Dong. He just looks to have slightly gone off the boil i mean he lost the last two frames having made breaks of 42 and 43. so he he had chances just couldn't take advantage of it to risk going to the ball Ken but he could have played it better than that he's left the reds to the left center Shots, no pressure on them really. And, uh, will he take the yellow into the bunch or will he try and get on the loose red? He's going to get on the loose red. He needs to slow down this cue ball. He needs to slow down. <laughs> Three. Just about. The red directly above the black will pot. And if you can get a nice angle after potting this black on that red, he may be able to bring a few more into play. Well, no, he doesn't have the angle this time. But when he pots this, 
the one next to it will be released and open into the bottom left hand corner pocket one of the best it's break rough. builders in the game is Ding Xiong Wei there's no doubt about that when he gets going Great to watch, isn't he, John? When you know the shots around the pink and black, he's like one of the best that's ever played the game. Oh, absolutely! 19. And just signs, I feel, Ken, that he is starting to get going, picking up the pace now. He was at 23, well, average 23 seconds a shot, but he has had a couple of occasions where he's taken over two minutes to try and solve a problem but normally he was expecting to be in the high teens oh that's worked out nice he puts his hand up and apologizes he was nearly on nothing but he just flicked this red just watch the red near the left cushion he just flicks it and that makes it available to the right middle Yeah, I'm back in prime position now. Yeah, just looking at his career century, he's doing 473. He's up with the, probably the top five or six people that's ever played the game. 147 six times. Centuries will probably tell a little bit of a story of how well he's played this year. 36 he made last year, only 20 so far this year. But when he gets going, one of the best in the business. Great to watch. Just checking to see was the two reds below the pink spot available. Forty two. Forty-three. Well, if the bottom one doesn't go, although he's been a little bit careless there. Just the wrong side of straight, as far as he's concerned. And it's caused him to make a positional error. 65 points to lead, 50. but still 75 remaining. Well, that was very poor, John, wasn't it, by his standards? He had a look at the two reds that were below the pink. All he had to do was roll the cue ball in, keep it straight for the pink into the right centre. Uh, well, when you can pop balls like that into the middle, it doesn't make much of a difference. Great shot. And that's a frame winner. That's some red. Yeah, and we've been saying so far in this championship. 58. How tight those middle pockets seem to be playing. But 59. No problem for, for Ding and beginning to pick up the pace and looking a lot more confident now. Just about on the red, I feel. 65. 66. His highest break so far in the match has been a break of 68 in frame three. So that betters that. 73. Seventy-four. Delightful positional shot 81. there. Eighty-one. Eighty-two. Nudging near the red towards the corner. 
He knows all the tricks. Nine. Ninety. <coughs> There's been sixteen centuries already in the championship. Ninety seven. This like looks like number seventeen coming up. 99. Green for the ton. Beautifully <laughs> played and warmly appreciated by this packed crucible theatre. Ton up. 106. Make that career centuries 474. 111. It's been excellent. Only position out of position once, John, and then created that wonderful red to the middle pocket to keep the break going. 117. Yeah, that was uh, what was you said at the time. That was the frame winner. And set him up for this beautiful break that he compiled of 124. And things you away after losing the first two frames. As now in front, 3 2. Yeah, an interesting fact there as well, Ken. I was saying that his shot, every shot time was 23 seconds a shot. He's now got it down to 21 seconds a shot. Yeah. Well, he soon quickens up, doesn't he, when he gets going? He got one red there, John. I mean, he, he ran out of position. It was a very careless positional shot. And he had one red into the... Well, this was the opener. Not the frame winner that we're sort of talking about. But still, some of the... So you, you mentioned how, how tight these the middle pockets are. and But some of the balls that thing is pots into the middle. It's probably... Let's have a look at this red now. And here it is, John. It's a tough enough pot, isn't it? Yeah, and also the fact that he... Uh... He's got it in his mind, he should have been better on it, but never touched the side. Superb shot. And he'll be feeling an awful lot better than he did when he was 2-0 down. And Xiao Gu Dong, well, he's, he's, he's just sort of gone a bit flat to me in the last few frames. Of course, he had that blow when he was well, well in front, made a mistake. Ding Jun Wee cleared up the 68 to make six. it 2-1. Xiao Guodong to break. Four more to play in this session, and of course, thing, both players will be hoping that they have at least some sort of lead going into their second session. Mm. That's a slight mistake. Does this red? Cut into the left centre pocket. Well, it's only a thin one, but I think it does. You feel sure though he's going to run into the blue, so I'm not guaranteed position on the colour. Oh, he, you see that thick, he avoided the blue. Probably merely in playing the green, he'd like to swing it round with two cushions, but he's got to avoid a kiss on the blue if he 
he's trying that. And did. And that was a beautiful positional shot. Four. He's firing on all cylinders now. Five. Perfect on the black red directly above it, just below the pack of reds, pots of course. Oh, doesn't hit that too well. But we'll certainly be bringing more reds Twelve. into play when potting this red. Thirteen. Awkward queuing, and considering that, he's played it pretty well, if he can get past the pink. Now can he? Spanked. Can he hit enough of the red? It's very tight. Good, yes. He played it nicely. Now it's a choice of green, but he'd like the blue back on its spot. All the better for break building. Twenty six. Twenty-seven. Oh. Slight angle on this black. It's too hard. Thirty-four. Yeah, as you said, Ken, slight angle on the black. So he, what he was playing was a stun to force it round off the two cushions, but. Put in that extra pace in because he was stunning it. That's why he's run too far. Recovery, but he needs that cue ball to stop short of the ball line. 35. And it just about has. So he's on the brown. And there you see it. Bramble. Right in the heart of the pocket. Pot success. 92%. Shall go. Go dong now down at 87%, and that's probably reflecting the score line. He's gone into 39. the reds. If you look, if he's not on one, you think he's on this one to the right corner. Will he not go? Well, if it doesn't go, let's end the break. Looks to be touching the other red. 
Mm, I'm not certain. I'm not certain. Mm, it didn't go. Engine wing. It's as simple as that. He talked himself into playing it. Now, what a chance for Zhao Dudong here to get right back in this frame one. and win one, if you like, against the head, one that he looked certain to lose a few shots ago. That was first part for eight. 30 minutes. So we found it a little bit rusty. Let's see what he can do. Nine. He's not happy with that. May have got a slight kick, but still on the black. A little bit more awkward than he would have liked. Reds 16. in the open, the two reds are close together, they're not in a potable position. So we'll have to negotiate a little cannon on those at some stage to bring them into play. Seventeen. Well, if he could, he'd like to stay in and around the black spot area. The red in the middle of the table. I don't know that he can play for the black off that. Twenty-five trace of left hand side to get a nice angle on the black but as Ken mentioned those two reds that are stuck together he needs to bring them in the open at some time because you cannot win the frame without those two reds just seven points behind now 32. if he had a nice angle it may be worth trying to cannon into those two reds now if he gets it right, it'd still be on the black. This could be the key shot. Played it perfectly. 33. Played it absolutely inch perfect. chance now 40 just gone into the lead by a point <coughs> 41 played it for the blue but that's okay it's landed perfectly on it And this is uh, commendable. As Ken said, he hadn't potted the ball for 30 minutes. 46. And he's taken these very well. 46. Oh, well, 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 well. Shall we go? Shake of the head. No excuse for that. I know these middle pockets are nippy, but that really wasn't that close. Just pressure, John. Bit of tension creeping in. It's understandable. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. One. It wasn't the best shot. It's just about gone in, but he's left his cue ball very close to this red. Doesn't have the ideal cueing here. No. It wasn't good. Things in we one. You feel there's a bit of tension building up in this match, John, already. Yeah. And it's only the first session. I know we say on many occasions that the, the seed seems to be under more pressure than the qualifier. Can you put your finger on why that is, you, you think? Well, I think just the fact that the seed hasn't played a match. The, the qualifier has won a few matches, and he has his ranking Stop. points. And the seed knows if he loses the first match, even though he gets his prize money, he doesn't get the equivalent of the ranking points. So there's a bit of pressure on him. Nobody wants to go out, of course, in the first round of World Championships as well. Yeah, you want to be here for the second week, don't you? Yeah. And you feel like you're involved in the tournament when you're in the last 16. This thing is trying to kick the cue ball over, of course, table a bit more. This is a bit tricky. Yeah, it's amazing now the snooker public have warmed to Ding Jun Wei, isn't it? He's, his English has improved, but also his mannerism around the table. He, he, you know, shares a smile with people. And that could be the frame winner. He'd be certainly smiling after that one dropping in. Because he can win this frame now or get to snookers required without requiring the pink. Which is the only difficult ball on the table. Just got to be a little bit careful here that with that black being Eight. where it is, he doesn't snooker himself. But surely you won't fall for that. Ten. He must take his time on this one. He played a bad shot on the green, very similar to this in the second frame. Green, brown, blue to get to snookers required. And this frame will certainly hurt his opponent. He had a chance to win it. Missed an easy red to the right centre pocket. Thank you. Yeah, and you could say that that's Fit. the difference. When Zhao led 2-0 and he was well in front, got a 42 break, he made a mistake. Ding Jun Wei cleared up with a 68. He had a chance to do similar in this 17. frame. He hasn't done it. And that's why, at the end of this visit, there's going to be a two-frame difference. But this time, to Ding Jun Wei. 22. 16 points to the lead. So just roll this pink in or over the pocket. He could have made a better job of it than that. Ding Junwei, 22. Well, it's one snooker needed, but for that, Ding Junwei from 2 0 down is 4 2 in front. Yeah, there's the possibility of this angle. Try and just miss the middle pocket on the left. So I'll have to Side cushion, top cushion. And this is a good line. This is a very good line. Has he got the pace? Mm.
once again things you way will just be rolling this pink into the jaws of the pocket now you've got to keep it out and somehow try and get the pink safe Oh, he's put his hand up to apologise. Why? That's what he was hoping for. Well, half chance here. side on the cue ball try and get that cue ball right behind the black here again he's got a good line just not the pace good opportunity just a little bit more pace and that was would have been pretty close surely Ding will pot this now <laughs> All right, where's the cue ball <laughs> six in the frame <laughs> Ding Sorry, John. <laughs> Ding, the pink goes in and Ding wins the six frame now. And he goes into the lead by four frames to two. Thank you, frame seven. Things you need to break. So Dean Jun Wee gets frame seven on the way, and it looks as though he's left a cut to the left middle. Jiao Gudong came round to have a look at the potting angle. And he did. Now he needs his cue ball just to bounce One. a little bit and give him a nice angle on the yellow, you would have thought. Oh, it's bounced a bit too much. The only way you can get that cue ball now back to the business end is to play a deep screw ramming the yellow into the middle pocket and screwing off the ball cushion. That makes the yellow very missable. Ciao, good down. One.
good cue ball tied to the the bolt cushion. Left a possible pot on for Ding Jun Wei, but well, this is tough. Close, but it was a tough shot. Now what's he left? Nothing, I don't think. There's a possible chance of a pot here, he's just got to be a little bit careful. I don't think you can avoid a kiss on a second red, and of course with that ball being adjacent to the left middle pocket, he's got to go into this cue ball. Good shot, and if it stops One. just on the edge of the D-line, he'll have the brown to the middle, and not much to do with the cue ball. Just over two hours. It's been interesting. You can't say it hasn't. Frames that could have gone either way. There's been a few of those. But from 2 Five. nil down, the ones that have gone either way have gone to Ding Jungwei. Six. He's okay, he's on the yellow. He just stunned across the face of the, the blue for a straight red to the right corner. And that will put him nicely on the black. Still a decent chance. Eight. Nine. I don't think there's any more loose reds here, so... I'm just thinking, Ken, there may just be one in the middle of the bunch. Two up from the black. 17. Yeah, he could be right, <coughs> but... It looks like he's left the angle on the black here to go into the pack. Yeah, it's a good split. Hmm. That could have worked out better. The problem is, whenever you play this shot, if you catch the, the ball full in the face, it takes all the pace out of the cue ball. And he needed, to be honest with you, it's a half ball and a lot more screw than that. He's got this red to the middle, but he missed an easier one in the last frame, which cost him. Will that be in his mind? No problem with that 25. one, although he didn't try to do too much with the cue ball. <laughs> Playing for the red on the middle, anything but straight. And he can run through and get a nice angle on 30. the blue. And 
that's what he's done. And I think the red immediately above the black at the bottom of the cluster is available. So he didn't have to play a cannon. Thirty-six. Yeah, it's imperative now that he gets a good angle on the black after this red. No more loose reds after this one. So, oh well, he was concentrating so much on the yeah, positional side of the shot. Again, missed the golden opportunity there. But on these super fine cloths, if you just decelerate on that type of shot you're always going to hit them too thin and there's just times at the moment now that he's missing when he's in and at this level you can't afford to do that because you only get so many chances per frame he's had chances practically in every frame oh yeah, and it gives your opponent Confidence as well, doesn't it? Well, it just takes a bit of pressure off you, doesn't it? If you think that I can make a mistake and it's not going to cost me. Yeah. He's contemplating taking this red on, just using the knuckle of the middle pocket for the cue ball to get top side of the blue. Could play it as a shot to nothing and screw back for a ball colour, but. I think he makes the pot a bit easier if he tries to hold for the blue. <laughs> well, I'm sure Dean will have a go with this red. He can just stun across. Try and get on the black into the same pocket where the red is going. He can only leave the red he's taken on. <laughs> what? I think he thought it was in at first, and then he stopped in his tracks until it dropped. Another one. Things you and we. Decelerating. One. So both players guilty now of missing good opportunities. Aggressive safety shot, but just a bit too much pace in it. All the reds, well, quite a few of them open now. So one good safety shot could force a mistake from your opponent. You think the favourite ball to play would be the one nearest the top cushion. You could knock that to the side cushion and if you took right could get him behind the yellow. Well he's played the other one but he's got a good line here. He's got an excellent line. What about the length? Very good. Yeah, excellent pace. Dean has got to find a good shot here. And he's got to be careful, doesn't knock a red over the corner pocket. Well, it's very good. Excellent return. Yeah, great reply that was. <laughs> Do 
just at first glance, Zhao Gudong may be forced into playing the pot here. I don't see a safety. And if he knocks it in, he'll be on the black. Yeah, but those type of shots are not going in. He's missed a few of those. And now he gives a half chance to Ding Zhongwei. the half chance. Still got a bit of work to do though with those three reds clustered below the pink and particularly with that positional shot. He can pot this red Eight. but he wanted to be on it so he could control the cue ball and be nicely on the black. It's a thin, thin cut back into this corner pocket. Yeah, very hard to keep control of the cue ball. He's got to miss the black. No. Yeah, no control there. It's a poor wait. shot on the black, it has to be said. To John goes. Yeah, and if uh, it does, then in potting that, you make the other one the one closest to the pink available. Looks a pretty straightforward run to the line, but well, take nothing for granted now. We'll be able to nudge the red away from the pink here. Make it even Nine. easier to get on. So this black, another red and a black. And we'll be at the snooker's required stage. Sixty. Red and the black will put him 52 points in front with 51 remaining. Well, I decided to go up for the blue. 17. And as long as you've got the angle, then he's just looking for one more red. This blue puts him 50 points in front with 51 remaining. Personally, I had to play for the black, but that's only personal choice. Doesn't want to be hampered by the brown. 22. So this frame ball. Twenty-three. Well, he won the first two frames, lost the next four. Held himself together well here. 28. Look to be reeling a little bit. This will uh, just what the doctor ordered. 29. And in this frame, settle him back down again. Yeah, he's, he's needed a couple of chances to win these frames, which is a bit concerning. But then having said that, Ding Jun Wee started to miss when he was in, so... You know, you can't criticise him and not, not the other man. Doesn't matter about the black. Yeah, we're done. 29. Ding Zhongwei will stay in his seat. 
In fact, he's going for a walk to the dressing room. Zhao Gudong, now just one behind, 4-3 Ding. Well, both players have decided to leave the arena, so here's the stats for you to mull over. And both now below 90% pot success. That's why some of these frames are beginning to drag out. What do you think? Thank you, frame eight. Xiao Guidong to break. Xiao Guidong gets frame eight underway. Remember, nine to be played in this first session. He's not left a pot on, so. Nowadays, we consider that as a good break-off. Yeah, we've seen quite a few break-offs this afternoon. That red has popped its head out there for potting. Now, he's having a look at this red along the top cushion, but why is this tough? <laughs> Didn't go for it, but I don't know what he played. Whatever it was, it wasn't very good. Well, if you're going to play that, Ken, you play to rattle the red in the jaws and send it up the table. Not have it come back at the cue ball. Schoolboy error. One. Too far for the blue, so taking the yellow down towards the reds on the right hand side of the table. Three. It's open. Stung it for the blue, but overshot it. He's still okay. In the middle of the pocket. Eleven. Just some nerves, just slightly. And they're not. Yeah, absolutely. Doesn't fill you full of confidence, does it, when they they're taking the time to drop? Twelve. <laughs> Perfect angle now to play a cannon, and he's as good as anyone at this type of shot. Just watch the reaction he gets on the cue ball. Yeah, he's just wondering if he gets a full ball cannon on the extreme red of the bunch. Will he be on the bottom red? 
hit the wrong red, and that's poor. Well, I suffer a bit of uh, what you've been doing. We've been 90. saying how good he is at getting on, opening the cluster, and uh, he's failed us miserably <laughs> each time. Things you we 19. Yeah, good shot. That's a telling safety shot there from Ding. Just trying to get this cue ball near the top cushion. <laughs> Just hit the red a little bit too thin, though. Oh, saved by the black. Safety uh, from Zhao. He's got a path back to the bulk end as Ding Junwei, but he's got to hit it just right. Oh, hit it too thin. That's why he caught the second red, and he'd be lucky to get away with this. And he hasn't. So this safety battle has been won by Zhao. Can he take full advantage of it? Catching that red much too thin. That's why it caught the, the second red. One. Played that nice enough. He'd like to play the blue. Blue on its spot is always a good thing to have. And the reds. In all honesty, couldn't be better spread. And the black will be available sooner rather than later. Mm, could have played that better, but I think he, he's OK. He's got one to the left middle, as long as he's Six. not straight on it. Oh, well, he is straight on it. The perfect angle on the blue, just is it hard enough? It's as simple as that. Yeah, I think he just wanted to be on the red to the right centre. Still have an angle on this red, but he's got to go in and out bulk now. Seven. 
Yeah, and he couldn't afford, as we say, they're quite nippy, these middle pockets. He couldn't afford to try and pinch a bit. So, in and out of ball. Mr. Bolt colours at all costs. Short again, it looks. Twelfth. We're struggling. Plenty of margin for error there. If anything, he wanted to be over hit it rather than under hit it. If that cue ball continues down in that line, I know if he's not on the red into the left center, there's two reds down near the black spot. So he could really could have hit it considerably more. Got tricky blind shot into this right hand center pocket. I think he's considering playing it into the corner, whichever is it's not as easy as it should have been. Good chance. Go. Twelve. Gone begging. Yeah, he slumps back into his chair. He's very disappointed there. Yeah, what can Ding make from this? Great pot. Is he on the black? One. I don't think so. Green ball. Things in weave, one. Well, he's not played that very well, but I think the blue may have come to his rescue for the red to the right corner. I think it must have done because if it hadn't done, he'd have played it by now. So safety, he's looked at a line to try and get him behind the green. Not quite, but a flick off the brown could be handy. Oh, nearly. Not quite sure whether that red is certainly cuttable into the bottom right-hand corner pocket, and he may be able to miss the black on the way back to Balk. It's a possibility. Decided against it, trying to get up behind the brown, but if he doesn't get behind the brown, he could leave this red, and that was always the problem. <coughs> oh, a long way away now. How's his look this time? Too bad, it could have been worse. Yeah, it certainly could. But I think he can just get Q past the red. Good Q he needed here, though. What? Yeah, in the end, he decided just to make certain of the pot. Knew he'd have to get out the, the extended rest and put the extension on his Q, but... At least he's got a shot at the black. Thanks. 
And now with a 16 point lead and enough reds in the open Eight. to clinch the frame at this visit, no doubt. Nine. Sixteen. Seventeen. Well, he left done well to get himself into the position thing because he hasn't played at his best. Okay, he's made a break of 124, but. Break of 68 and 25. A couple of 30 breaks and not vintage thing, but definitely winning this frame. He'll have some sort of lead. He'd love to have a 6 3 lead, so it's a very important last frame for both players. More so for Fidong, you would feel. 31. This black will put him 46 points in front. So another red and a colour will be sufficient to get the snookers required. Zhao Gudong, well, he's had chances. Uh, he's just not scoring enough in the last few frames when he's had those opportunities. He's missed the trick here, hasn't he, in this fourth session, John? Particularly, we go back to frame three when he should have won it. Yeah, I think he can look back and think of a lot of frames that he should have won. 44. If mutts, butts and maybes. 45. Yeah, massive last frame coming up, I feel. 50. Fifty-one. Laid the cannon on the red. Unlucky, but the frame's over now anyway. Fifty-seven. Seven and a frame. Zhao stays in his chair and nods to the referee. Another frame on the board for Ding Zhong Wei. He leads now by five frames to three. Well, now the player leaving the arena this time. But as you say, Ken, they'll be getting themselves prepared for a very important final frame. I mean, such a big difference between one and three mm. and i think more so for gudong just the way the match and the way this session has panned out been some critical frames in there he's had his chances as you said and hadn't started off very very well for his first couple of frames and then lost his way a little bit yeah one or two there's certain frames in all matches where you look as though you're going to lose it, and then you can, and you win it. It just gives you such a boost of confidence. And and the only frames that have gone like that have, have gone to ding. Thank you, the final frame of this session. Things you'll to break. Referee Brendan Moore tells you exactly the situation. Final frame of this session. Ding Jun Wee with a two frame advantage. At the end of it, will it be three or will it be just one? Usual 
red available, the one to this right corner. I'm never that happy when a player looks to see what he's leaving if he's going to miss this. I mean, this is a shot that they practice. You've got to go full-blooded for this. Good shot. Yeah. Maybe it didn't hold the cue ball as, as he would like, but he's still on this black. And just a soft screw here to cannon the red immediately above the black. Don't play it with any pace. Give time for the backspin to take effect. Played it perfectly. OK, if he's not on the red to the opposite corner, he's, he's on the red that's closest to the cue ball. Eight. See, the thing is, if you hit that shot too hard, you don't chance for the backspin to take effect. He played it well. Nine. I don't think he has the angle on the black to go into the pack and still hold for the loose red. I think he's just going to play for the loose red here. Nine. Settle down, please. Thank you. Well, that's two similar type of blacks he's missed. That's mm. unforgivable at this level. Shock to the system. And it could be a very costly mistake. One. Purposely dropping the red in, dead weight, leaving a nice angle on this black now. Oh, he hasn't hit that too well. What a terrible shot. Eight. That's a shocker. Yeah, I mean, you could have been a another foot too far and still been on the red to be on nothing as you say it's a shocker Ding Jin we eight he's given his opponent every chance to stay in this match Shots, I'm not certain that he played it. Let's have a look again. Well, there was no plant there. Two reds onto the third red, went in. But he's missed the brown. Things you and we. I don't think you can count on anything happening that is obvious here at the moment. Well, for a guy that's gone 5-3 in the lead, he, he looks more nervous of the two. Yeah, maybe he realises the importance of this frame and that three-frame advantage you could take into the second session tomorrow. One. Wrong side of the blue, though, for Zhao.
just iron up the for his best shot. Will he leave it on for the red on the left hand side of the title? Or the red on the right hand side. He's probably better off playing for the red on the left hand side of the table, being a right hander. Well, he's going to go in and out of ball. Lots of top spin, right hand side. For all the distance that ball Six. travelled, if he had it just rolled it, he probably yeah. would have ended up in the same place. Yeah. <laughs> Seven. Right side of the blue this time. And this, to me, you hear plenty of value in playing a cannon on the three reds or the red just to the right the pink you can bring the pink into play you know I'm in a precise positional shot here it's difficult to judge so play the cannon on the pink it's got to be the shot <coughs> well he didn't catch the red full enough hang down your head Tom Dooley Yeah, really wanted to hit the pink there, didn't he? Yeah, he certainly did. Well, that's a end of break. Oh well, what has he done yeah, here? Twelve. Dear me. He may have to hang his head again. <laughs> That was an old song. Remember that? Do you remember that song, Ken? No. What oh, was it? Hang down your head, Tom Dooley. No. It was an old country and western song. You're not going to sing it, are you? No. Not not live. Thank on goodness. <laughs> it was a classic. One. He's on the pink here, John, but it's not that straightforward. In fact, he maybe you refuse in the pink. He's looking at the blue. The only problem with the blue, he's got to avoid the the kiss on the yellow. There's a clear path for the cue ball playing the pink, but this pink is no gimme. But in it goes. Oh, and that's a nice... Well, do you call it a cannon or a kiss? If you play it, it's a cannon. If it's unintentional, it's a kiss. I'll give him the benefit it's of the doubt. It's definitely a kiss for me. <laughs> All right, you won't. <laughs> Lots of noise coming from the other side of the arena, but Eight. that's what you get at the Crucible Theatre. Adds to the atmosphere, adds to the tension. You've just got to focus on one shot, the shot that's ahead of you, and try and put all that noise out of your mind. And this is a great chance now for Ding Zhongwei to go into the second 50. session tomorrow and hold a three-frame advantage. And having lost the first two frames, he'd be very pleased with that. 60. 23. That was an excellent pot. And 20 to get up top side of the blue as well. So they're all there for Ding now. 
Hopefully we'll put some 17 points in the lead. 29. Still going to need four of these remaining reds to finish the frame at this visit. Can't really see a problem, but we've thought that a few times in this session and been caught by surprise. Yeah, and it all came from this unorthodox shot from Gu Dong and made a complete mess of it, just trying to avoid those reds. Cue ball back to Bork, and yeah. because of that, left thing in. And there were so many other options. 38. Maybe he was disappointed the fact that he played a poor positional shot, but we shouldn't let the last shot affect the next one. Yeah, just a loss of concentration, wasn't it? And you can't do that at this level. No, you can't drop your guard for a moment. 44. And having had a great start winning the first two frames, you wouldn't bet against him being three down now at the end of this session. Sting Xiong Wei, after this black, just needs one more red. <coughs> 40 points to lead. If he pots this red, 52. he goes 41 in front with only 35 remaining. Fifty-three. He's played well in parts, thing, but he probably still won't be entirely happy with his performance. He'll certainly be happy with the lead that he has going into the second session tomorrow. Fifty-nine. Sixty. Good old. I'll be very disappointed. 67. Way on the ropes could have gone three nil ahead and who's to say what could have happened 69. but he didn't and Way just tidying up he won't be bothered whether this brown is in or not it'll be a handshake and see you tomorrow and as well who led two frames to nil, will go out very disappointed. He trails the number three seed, Ding Zhongwei, by six frames to three. <laughs>